if you are in Maryland and you are trying to hit a home run, to do the big deals, to get the money, to burr your way to riches, I want to talk to you. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today, today I'm working with my guy Terry from Stevensville, Maryland, right? And Terry wants to do some big dog deals, get into the burr game, right? Terry, I know we've been working on building you a portfolio for a minute. Uh, we've been kind of bouncing over from strategy to strategy as, you know, you work things through, right? You run into some issues with some lenders. Then we looked at some cash deals because your lenders were jerking you around. Then it looks like you found a new lender who's interested in partnering with you on some bird deals, and you guys, of course, want to partner on said bird deals with me, right? He kicks in the financing. You're kicking in a bunch of the cash. I'm kicking in all the boots on the ground work, right? And that's cool because I got a hell of a bird deal for you today, bro. Woo, this one's going to kick off some money. But here's the thing. Here's what I need everybody out there in Maryland to know. This bird deal ain't in Maryland, folks. Why? Because right now, the housing market in Maryland... The inventory, all-time low. The prices, all-time high. So instead of trying to do less profitable deals or not profitable deals, we go where the deals are, folks. My team on the ground to handle everything. You don't have to invest where you live. If the deals ain't there, go where the deals are. That's what we're doing. And I'm going to talk to you guys about the market, why it makes sense, all the numbers, the whole shebang, right? So if anybody out there is watching this and you're like, man! I want to work with Jay Wise like his dude Terry's doing under the video. There's notes. Go ahead and click them, and then you can see a link to book a free call at my team. They will walk you through the process of getting your own personalized videos because no matter how much you want to do this bird deal, you can't. Send it to Terry months ago via the emailer. It's only publicly available on Holton Wise TV after the deal's done. So, like, I don't need you guys, like, Die, James! I saw the Terry's bird deal! It's fucking gone, man. Why do you guys email me like a year later after a video is published? Like, oh, I'll do that deal. It's gone. It's gone, people. It's gone. Terry probably did it, and he's probably making money. So you got to get your own personalized videos to be like Terry. Be like Terry! All right. Quick break. We'll jump into the deal. Let's go. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. We doing a burr, baby. Burr deal. We are going to burr the hell out of this, man. This property could make us a lot of money. We got to get a really good price, though, right? Here's the thing. You're out of state investing, right? You're partnering with Holton Wise because you want to do a burr deal together, right? You're trying to invest out of state. Everybody that watches the show... Uh, well, not everybody that watches the show, but a lot of people that watch the show and end up becoming customers of Holton Wise have a very similar story, right? Uh, it usually involves, hey, I live in this state and the government don't let me evict my tenants and the properties cost too much. I fucking hate it. You hate it too, Jay Wise. Let's fucking do some deals, right? I mean, that's an oversimplification, but like, that's what we deal with, right? There's just a lot of states out there where it's untenable for new investors to get deals going. Uh, Landlord-tenant policies, they're out of this world, right? Like California, right? Uh, we just did a story on that the other day. They have extended their eviction moratorium in California until 2023. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Three fucking years. Uh, you, you could be the owner of a rental property in L.A. County. And for three fucking years, uh, that horrible, horrible hell on earth 
government ran nazi government ran location is allowing someone to steal your property and you can't do shit about it right so that's terrible i feel bad for those people but guess what a lot of those people are driven out of california and they're driven here because there are uh, more reasonable locations in the united states in addition the prices are much cheaper right but here's the thing oftentimes when you guys are in that uh tough spot you end up in a you know rock you're in a rock between a rock and a hard place? Yeah, that's how you say it. You're between a rock and a hard place, right? You're like, ah, stay home in a place like California where it's expensive, it's insane. I mean, think Portland, right? Same thing. Uh, I'm screwed every which way I move over here, so let me go out of state. But then you go out of state, and all you could do is buy traditional turnkey, and you're paying over, uh, over market value, right? That's where the turnkey provider buys distressed real estate. And they fix it up, and then they capture all that equity, capture all the good profit, and then sell it to you at an inflated price. But you're like, no, I'm out of state. I got no options. Fuck. They're fucking me over here. They're fucking me over there. Right? That's where you end up, right? So a lot of people, they end up coming here. You partner with us, so we could actually put you on the forefront, right? Get you in touch with the distressed sellers and have you do the deal, and we'll act as your partner, your boots on the ground, your teammate. And that's what we're going to do here, right? So you're going to see me try to beat – uh, the price down on this particular deal, right? Because I don't work for the seller. I am not the seller. I work for you. And by the way, folks, the stuff I teach you guys here on Hope Mice TV, if you want to partner with me and do it in the Cleveland market, you can. Just below the video, book a free call with my team, and you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. If you want to do the strategies and the things I teach you here on Holton Wise TV at home, in your own home market, what you want to do is uh, check this out, right? Prop stream Below the video in the notes, I have a free trial for you guys. This is essentially the MLS, right? That's what this show's about. I pull up these properties on the MLS. It's essentially like MLS-type data for the entire United States. And the things I teach you, the negotiation tactics we're going to utilize with like this particular seller, if you want to do it at home, go ahead and sign up uh, for PropStream's free trial that we're offering. And you can get all that data. You can search the kinds of houses you need, get the data, directly reach the sellers, cut out the middleman, and really do some damage, right? The data is what you need, folks. And best of all, if after your free trial you want to keep using the data because you're making that coin, well, because you're a Holton Wise TV subscriber, you get a discount. But if you don't want to do it on your own, you want to partner with me, you got to do it in Cleveland, and this is how we're going to do it, right? So we're going to burr this thing. 3190 West 41st, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. I love this neighborhood, okay? This neighborhood is technically called Clark Fulton, but I call it the Metro Health neighborhood. Why? Because Metro Health is a big old hospital, and they're investing a billion dollars in this area into their uh, campus and into the surrounding area, which is great. Right now, I consider it to be like a high D neighborhood. There's a lot of D neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, but if I'm going to invest in a D neighborhood, I won't be in the one that's getting a billion-dollar investment. In addition, the Regional Transit Authority just committed like another $60 million investment, and you're hop, skip, and a jump from the areas that have already gentrified. Tremont, Ohio City, Gordon Square. Cleveland's also offering 15-year tax abatements for new construction homes. So if you're reading the tea leaves, folks, there's a lot of things popping in this area. Cleveland not historically known as a cash flow market. I mean, I'm sorry, Cleveland historically known as a cash flow market, not an appreciation market. I ain't a spec, dude. Uh, most of those people are just guessing. But, like, dude, think about it. A lot of that makes sense. It, it's uh, pretty obvious. I, I think things are going to pop over here, right? Which leads me to how jacked this house is. And that's great. That's what we want. Look at this thing. This is a fucking piece of shit. This is a fucking shit box, okay? It's got, uh, oh, shit. Look at this, man. I love you forever. T, T, T and J 2021. Man, T and J. I am so happy you two. That love between the two of you, man. You guys are probably shooting up, loving each other, kissing each other, Narcanning the shit out of each other right now. That is so special. Um, anyway, the house is jacked, right? There's two houses, two duplexes. Uh, I know the love is there between T and J, but it, it's really a fucking shithole, okay? But that is good. That's what we want. We want shitholes, right? We're trying to avoid going turnkey. You're trying to get you to make the money, right? And this ends up being a four unit, right? Because you can get a residential loan. It's two duplexes, and that's the best. That's the best deal ever, right? Four is better than three. Three is better than two. Two is better than one. But guess what? Four is also better than five. 
What? Why? You get a five unit, you can no longer qualify for beautiful 30-year fixed interest, low interest financing. So four is, in my opinion, the best investment investors can make for the long haul because it's the most rent you can get. Most rent you can get while still getting that beautiful 30-year loan. Once you get into a five unit, the terms, they suck. To be honest with you, they suck. It's really, really hard to finance a five unit, a six unit, a seven unit, an eight unit. Uh, it's just difficult. Uh, usually the people you're buying them from don't keep very good records. It's very much mom and pop assets. And commercial lenders don't really like those small, tiny assets in uh, their portfolio, right? So right now, this is like the biggest fish in a small pond. You go to five unit, you're the smallest fish in a big pond, and nobody wants to do that, right? So I love four units, and I like this deal, even though it's a fucking shit box, right? So being that this is a shit box, we have to do a lot of reno to get it going. Now, the seller wants to get 89.9 for it, right? Been on the market almost three weeks now. Duplexes in this particular neighborhood, they're going to go for about 100K usually, right? We're getting two duplexes, but you can't pay 90. The most I think it makes sense to pay to, to factor in the risk levels and, and the extensive amount of rehab we're going to do would be 50. I think you, 50 is all you could pay. You pay 50 cash. By the time we're done renovating both of these fucking shit boxes, you're going to be every bit of 100000 into this thing, right? Uh, we need to do full renovations, make sure we handle all the lead safe stuff. I mean, dude. These are fucked up. Top to bottom, we're looking at about 50K a duplex, right? So you're looking at all in investment, 150K. And then conservatively, they're worth usually 100 on their own. So we'll conservatively estimate our Burr target at 180, right? 180. Now, what we're going to get for rents, 650 and 650 out of each of the, the one bedrooms. There's two of those. And then 750 and 750 out of two bedrooms, right? So we're going to be pulling in 2,800, right? 33,600 for the year. We're not going to consider all 33,600 profit, though, right? We're going to factor in fixed and variable expense estimates, right? So pure profit, probably about a little bit over 17. And if we're all in at 150, we get it to appraise at our 180. That means that bank on that beautiful 30-year loan, right? They're going to loan us back 135 of our 150, meaning we only got 15 tied into the deal, folks. We only got 15 tied into the deal. After we pay off our mortgage, we're looking at a clear cash flow in our pocket, average of about 10 and a half a year. And we only tied up 15. That's a 70% return on your investment. Will every year go that way? No. But that's what I expect this to do on the long haul. So is the deal going to be a mess? Oh, yeah. Is the renovation going to take a while? Definitely. Is this a fucking shitbox? You bet your ass this is a shitbox. This property is terrible. It is hit. Uh, but, yeah, you drop a hundo into it, do the refi. It's all going to make sense, and you're in a D-grade neighborhood right now. I think makes a lot of sense to put Section 8 tenants in it, but who knows? 10, 15 years down the road with all the tax abatements, new construction, uh, the billion from Metro Health, the $60 million from the Regional Transit Authority, proximity to Ohio City, Gordon Square, Tremont, downtown. I think this thing makes a lot of sense. So if you got what it takes, if you could stomach forking over that kind of cash to have my team handle all the boots on the ground stuff for you, this one gonna make some money. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.